Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. It's been a long time that I have not posted a video and I will tell you the reasons why I have been away from this channel for quite some time. Uh, that's because a lot of things were happening uh, so far and uh, I was busy on the work front as well as I was busy buying a new bike, you know, selling my old car, all these things are happening. Plus, also uh, one major development in my trading is that I have completely automated my trading now and using all goes. So it gives me a lot of time to do a lot of things. So in today's video, we will also try and learn how to place uh, or use algo platforms so that you can get ample time and you know have your you know peace of mind and your trading happens automatically every day see winning and losing is a different thing and uh, what what is the advantage you have in uh, algo trading is that you can always back test your stat strategy rigorously for last three to four years and uh, see the results by implementing in paper trading for like six months and then you deploy your capital and just you know be uh, aware that things are happening the way you want them to happen so in today's video uh, i'm going to quickly analyze nifty for all of you guys and uh, let's see what nifty is saying via charts to us so i have plotted nifty here uh, on a chart which has a simple uh, 200 period moving average uh, let's try to put Yeah, and 200 period moving average and a 5 period moving average, which I'm using on this chart, along with a 14.1 super trend. 14.1 super trend will uh, help you to capture short moments at very frequent intervals. Okay, so we are looking at a daily chart of Nifty. So understand the fundamental principles what we trade on. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, and like because that will give me a lot of motivation. I have been seeing that. Most of the people are not subscribing these days. So, you know, which is a very bad thing. I need motivation and I want you to subscribe to the channel and keep liking the content which I'm posting. And this takes a lot of effort to create videos, a lot of effort to share the knowledge which I have, which uh, which you are going to get by paying a lot of money to a lot of coaches. So this, if you pay a little more attention, you'll be able to grab this knowledge and use it in your trading. <clears throat> so without wasting time, let's get started. So we have 200 period moving average. Our 200 period moving average is like our China wall. Okay. Price above this indicates it's bullish. Price below this indicates the trend is bearish. Okay. So now what is the price saying on a long term, daily term? So it has bounced from 200 period moving average and it has gone a little far from it and it has made a new high which is 20,000. 222 okay 20222 so this is a new high so after market makes a new high there is always a retracement back to that support level so this support level is the level which will mark it here okay this will become an important support level for us this is a previous high so now either market can take a short dip into this and then move forward or it can go a little higher and then make a dip so usually what I use as a tool is a Fibonacci retracement. So from any latest high to the peak, you can always see there will be a retracement up to 50%. You no, know, in between 50 to 60% is a golden zone, which we have discussed in my previous video. You can go and search for the Fibonacci retracement video, which I have posted on this channel and see this is a golden uh, zone where the retracements usually happen. So from this, it has made a new high now once this new high is made then you have to place the fibonacci retracement on the previous low and the new high so the new high what is the possibility of retracement it is up to this level this 50 percent level okay so even if the market retraces back to this level please do not panic and if it goes a little higher from this if we see that next week it will uh, make a big candle and move a little higher nobody can predict that also so let's be uh, very uh, optimistic and i don't see any indications coming that it can go lower uh, but uh, you know 
it can stay in this zone for quite some time it's already rsi is oversold and uh, we can also look at the mfi mfi is money flow index which will give us a clear uh, oversold overbought scenario so it is in a bullish trend so i don't see any problem uh, let's see 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes time frame uh, let's remove super trend also Uh, let's put 20 which we have been using all over so these are the two moving averages which you should plot on your chart without this you are not going to look at the chart okay this will give you a clear picture clear picture of the trend so trend is uh, slightly sideways now because the 20 period moving average is sliding down and the price is below it and uh, and there is a rise in 200 period moving average so if the market falls also there is a possibility that this 200 period moving average will act as a halt okay the moment you see this 200 period moving average breaking with big volumes and if it consolidates there for a couple of days and then also drops then it's a reversal sign for us then it's a time for exit so let's see this on a five minute time frame five minute time frame uh, this is on 18th 18th which is yesterday the market opened from 200 period moving average on five minute time frame it stayed there and then started moving up but it consolidated and hasn't gone much higher from there you can see this trend was down till the day end and it, it broke the 200 level and it's consolidating so on a lower time frame on a five minute time frame the price is below 200 and uh, if you see uh, tomorrow's opening below this then it's a time for you to short short when when it retraces back to the 200 or 20 period moving average and then drops so the price will always go away from these moving averages and come back to the moving averages so how far is too far that you can apply a five period moving average and see that will be your farthest okay uh, you can apply bollinger band also bollinger band candle which is outside of the bollinger band is the farthest which the candle can go so always be cautious and you can derive a simple trading strategy by you know seeing that wherever it has uh, gone uh, you know the price has gone the farthest from the uh, bollinger band or from a moving average then it's a time for reversal so always wait for those reversal and always catch the trend so trading is all about probability and uh, there is no 100 percent success rate which you will get and uh, it's a different game you have to ensure that your mindset is right and you have to ensure that whatever percentage returns you are expecting is clear in your mind okay do not have unusual expectations stating that i will make 120 percent or 200 percent in a month which is not going to happen if you're willing to do that that is high risk that you will lose more than 400 percent also so high risk high returns and medium risk medium returns but medium uh, risk medium returns is what you need to fix in your mind if you're going for a strategy which can give you say about 20 25 percent annual returns which is much better strategy because in banks you get about seven seven point two five percent of interest uh, on your fds and wherever you invest in mutual funds they always promise about 14 to five percent okay so this is the state which you need to get into and you need to ensure that whatever strategy you are using or whatever uh, you know, back testing you are doing if the results are like even if it is a 60 percent win rate with a decent uh, let me show you an example let me show you uh, uh, strategy details like for example if you are making a strategy uh, which can give you about say win rate is 54% okay and uh, your uh, total 
return is about 30 percent and standard annualized about 20 percent it's a decent strategy you don't have to be 100 percent a win rate strategy you don't go for that you go for strategies which can give you decent returns and also maximum drawdown what is the maximum drawdown it is 16 percent maximum drawdown which you can get so the returns will be realistic and you know there will be months where you'll be seven percent down uh, i'm just showing this as an example so eleven percent seven percent two percent but overall you have to be profitable that is your returns total returns annually so do not and get into a panic situation where if the strategy you have back tested is not working for say one month or two months there will be months periods where it will not work and that is how the strategy is made see this month this month this month this month and the year august and september continues to two months going somebody starts a new strategy in august and september they feel there is something wrong with the strategy and they stop implementing it and start looking out for other strategies but that is not the way you should always factor this Maybe that one, if something is going wrong, if the algorithm testing is not done properly, so that's a different issue. But if the strategy is rightly implemented, then definitely you're going to make a return. <coughs> so always look out for those strategies and it is very easy these days to make strategies. It is, you know, simply you can uh, go to these platforms like AlgoTest, TradeTron, where you can actually create your own strategies and AlgoTest, I find it very simple to create your straddle strategies or you know index strategies where you can sell multiple index indexes and put a stop loss so those can be back tested and those can be implemented on a daily basis and it is a simple thing for you to do that okay so this was our second topic and third topic which i want to cover is today that we will uh, search for stocks for implementation for investment so we are going to use our uh, a uh, super trend tool and we will use a 15 and 2.5 scan okay in future segment we don't see any uh, stock eligible for this let's try in nifty 500 let's see if we can find any good stocks So like this guys you can you know create multiple scans of your choice uh, there is a lot of knowledge available openly free of cost for you to use and search for that so i found these six stocks okay in cash segment So let's take one by one. Uh, I don't want to pick up any stock which is at uh, 44, 160. Usually I don't trade stocks which are uh, not in Nifty 50. I prefer to buy even in investment also. I try to buy in Nifty 50 stocks. Let's see if we can find something in Nifty 50 or Nifty 100, Nifty 200. Uh, then it will be a good investment for us. It's more safe because fundamental is one thing and technical analysis is another thing. Two things you have to combine. So fundamentally, if you want to pick up sound stocks, it has to be Nifty 50 or any of these Nifty indices because there is a criteria for that company to be eligible to be in Nifty 50. Okay, so that is your fundamental criteria. So how much is the capital uh, of the company? How much is the total uh, price to equity, price to book ratio and all those things are factored and uh, you know multiple factors have been seen for a stock to appear in nifty 50 so ensure that you pick up good stocks in nifty 50 or you know even then if you want to go and analyze this for the sake of example so let's do it uh, let's pick up this stock hilton metal forging and let's see what it is showing us in the charts Hilton metal forging okay so the first thing which I notice is that the candle pattern so the here if you see five minutes candles why this is appearing like this because there is not much of a liquidity in this stock so this is a major problem when you are investing in mid cap small cap stocks the liquidity is very less okay so you won't be able to see these stocks properly you have to look at the daily chart daily chart is liquidity is fine it is in a good uprun 
and as you can see it has moved from about 26 to 116 and there's a huge gap which has formed so i won't be interested to invest at this far okay i would be interested for any stock which is near 200 or at least it is giving me a breakout so let's apply a simple double super trend strategy here okay it is bullish the super trend strategy would have given an entry right here at 91 okay 91 it gave entry it is going up so like this you can find stocks and uh, invest along with the super trend and your stop loss will be the super trend which will continue to go along with the stock so this is how i do my investing and it is a very safe strategy very successful strategy you can also invest using that strategy it's very simple and second thing uh, let's look at another stock which i had here uh, which, let me show you this one it's a company called eid parry okay on a, a daily basis it has already given a good breakout over 200 period moving average it has retraced and then from there it is moving up with volume so this is a very good stock for you to invest even if you see this on a weekly basis weekly basis the candle has closed about super trend and this week it might retrace 50 percent up to 539 you can buy this the volume is good breakout has happened you can invest in this stock it's a good 500 uh, price of the stock is about 555 which is a good stock for you to invest don't invest in small stocks i'm, I'm sure you'll get a little lesser uh, quantity but that's fine how much is your quantity you need to define 492 will be your uh, stop loss okay yeah so eat parry is a good stock which you can invest in how you're going to invest let's calculate for example the price is at 495 let me open a calculator 495 minus your triple five is the price so 60 points is your stop loss take two more points make it 62 so if you have a risk capacity of say 5000 per trade this is very important you always need to fix this number in your trading strategy this can be two percent of your entire capital or uh, maybe one percent so decide like that so uh, i'm assuming 5000 is your risk capacity and basis that you take 62 points so 80 shares is what you can buy in this trade 80 shares you buy hold it for weeks this is a weekly candle so hold it for weeks and go along with the super trend these are two super trend crossover strategies so this uh, this is very good and you will not lose much of your money in the long run the volume is also satisfying so understand this guys and you need to have a clear mindset and think how the billionaires have grown and what kind of mindset they have always have the mindset to make realistic returns on the market do not expect to become overnight rich nobody can become overnight rich until somebody leaves a fortune for you and dies okay that is the only place you will become rich otherwise have a realistic expectation you are not going to make 100 percent 200 percent on a daily basis and even if you are making it today in your early age uh, say about 25 to 30 35 you will not be able to generate similar returns in the future because technology will keep changing speed of the systems will keep changing but you will be becoming older so always remember that and try to switch to strategies where you can deploy say 50 crores or 100 crores also easily and sit tight and expect the same kind of result okay it is not like this point i will enter by the call and it goes up i will book 10 points and exit that is not a strategy okay you have to have fixed stop loss fixed return to risk ratio and fixed exit strategy that is a strategy you need to follow make simple strategies either it's a crossover strategy super strength strategy bollinger band strategy whatever it is and automate it for your future so that even if you're not looking at it you will still get the results which you have back tested and whatever you have calculated say 20 percent returns annually that you are going to make and always log your trades 
20 25 trades is what you need to check before discarding any strategy and before implementing a new strategy so think on those terms create multiple sources of income create your trading income create your investment income create your real estate income create your mutual fund income create your uh, any other uh, uh, interest you have you know that kind of blogging vlogging writing all that kind of incomes have to be created for you to become financially free quickly this is what is the gyan you will get if you go and listen to somebody who's selling courses on youtube okay so do not waste your money read books watch informative videos which are free of cost and please do subscribe to this channel because i am giving you a lot of free knowledge thank you so much for watching and have a great day